right, we're here at the official track feature for 2016. It's the final round, Jim Holly. Can you believe it? You know, we're here in Las Vegas and it's going to be an awesome day. Well, the thing that I can't believe is I'm wearing a jacket. Usually it's about 90 degrees out here, but it's only going to be in the high 60s, right. low 70s. That's going to be great for the track because the, with this cloud cover we have, the moisture is going to be able to stay in the track. So I think later on tonight, we're going to have a great track. It's not going to, it's still going to get hard and dry, right. but not as hard and dry. Right. And this uh, feature behind us here, Monster Alley, they're going to be coming down there 60, 70 miles an hour, duck and roost. So any moisture they can keep in this track, it's going to help that a little bit. Yeah. And you mentioned that Monster Alley, the starting line is a very short starting line. You go in and hook a left and you go outside the stadium and right. you rock it down the Monster Alley, like you said. And, I mean, speeds of up to 80 miles an hour when they come through here, and you better be ducking because right. this roost is going to be gnarly coming down this. Right, it's an interesting start, though. It's a short distance to the first corner, but the actual hole shot line is right here. So you have three left-handed corners, so you've got a lot of opportunities if you get a bad jump to get on the inside and try to you know, help yourself as much as possible. Yeah, and if you're on the inside, they're all left-hand turns, <laughs> so you can be the one doing the pushing there. Right, another part I think is going to be interesting is the dragon back section. There's three in a row, back to back to back. So what kind of combinations are the racers going to come up with today in qualifying? Are they going to be trying to jump from the first one to the second one, or you know, from the second one to the third one? And yesterday on press day, there were some different combinations there. Yeah, and I think the, you know, and, and you mentioned the 450s and 250s. Some of those guys will have to do it a little bit different because yeah. 250s obviously don't have the power that the 450 is. But something I really like is they got the over and under bridge, but they're right. not going under the bridge. They're just using it as a landing for the Monster Energy finish line, and that is huge. We looked right. at it yesterday, and I said. Man, that's a big jump for a finish line. Right. You know, the track's awesome, very technical. Uh, the weather, you know, Jim's got his jacket on, uh, so we're going to see how that turns out. It's going to be favorable for the racers, you know. A lot of pressure on the line for the East and West 250 guys, so can't wait to see what happens today.